Hey, what's going on you guys? Tim O'Dell with O'Dell Complete Landscape. This is day four on the project. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys on a quick walk along and show you what we have done and what we plan on doing today. So, like I've been saying, all the concrete is mostly out. We got a lot of dirt out. What we gotta do right back here is we have a bunch of string lines set up right now to get our grade of this whole area. You can see string lines are set. This is all gonna be grass right in this area. This is gonna be a concrete walkway. We have the height set already. You can see all the other string lines we have set up. Hopefully you can see them on the camera. This will be a concrete patio right in this area and that area. We're gonna be cutting these valves off today. We're gonna be going underneath the house so that we can get the valve set up on the other side of the house. And this is gonna be a step right here, right about whoop, at the bottom of this little uh, air vent for the base or underneath the house. So we're gonna be cutting these off inside because if we were to cut them off out here and shoot them down and dig trench around, there'd be a pipe sticking up in our concrete going down into it. So we don't wanna do that. We're gonna go underneath the house, cut them off out in under the house and bring them around to the side. And you guys will see that in a little bit once we get do, uh, started on that. What else we're gonna do is, um, we're just gonna grade out this backyard a little bit better. You can see this kind of like humps and bumps everywhere. We just wanna smooth it out, get it nice about four inches even everywhere for the concrete and probably two inches for the sod that we're gonna be laying in over here. That's kind of the goal today, a little bit of form and irrigation. I don't think we're gonna get much further than that. But if we do, the other stuff we would do is set up sprinklers and maybe rebar. Other than that, let's get started and let's get going. Okay guys, so what we have to do right now is since we're gonna be moving the irrigation system that I showed you in part one, that is right in front of the step down, in front of the sliding glass door to the backyard, it's right in a really ugly spot. So we're gonna be rerouting this to on the other side of the house where it won't be in plain sight and to do this we need to go underneath the house because this is a raised foundation and the irrigation line is connected to the water main line underneath the house so we need to cut the pipe re and reroute it to the other side of the house while we are underneath the house so Sam has generously offered to do this so He's gonna take the GoPro underneath with him and show you what he had to go through to connect uh, these pipes. This is the man of the hour, MVP. Shaky. I need that flashlight. Oh, where's the flashlight? The Walt flashlight. It could be inside of a wheelbarrow on the side of the house. Do you, do you get that, Moses? It's on that side, off the side of the house. It's on, yeah. It, what is it? It's the DeWalt flashlight? DeWalt, yeah, DeWalt flashlight. Maybe in a wheelbarrow. Hopefully he finds it. You found it? Hell yeah. That was fast. Hell yeah, dog. All right, sweet. There we go. Oh, there's a beam. It's not too bad under here, though. Once you get in. Oh, yeah. Once you get going, it's great. Once you get in. Check your head under there. Woo! And do a little roll technique. Oh, oh yeah. Getting out is going to be a little bit of a challenge. All right, dude. Make sure you get some sweet footage under there. Uh, I'm going to go cut that thing open. Oh, here. You need this. Uh, You're going to need this? Yeah, we need all that. Here, just that. Put these in your pocket or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, we like to get it on here at Odell Complete Landscape. We don't mind taking that. Oh, what's that? Metal got me. Taking that extra time, doing it right. Little by little, baby, little by little. That's where we're going. There. There. Okay. All right, so here's the main water line. 
This is what I'm tapping into. They have it connected with the threading, PVC. So Kim is turning off the water right now. What? Drain the line for you, okay? Thank you. So we drain the line. There's your pipe right here. I'm cutting it right about here. 45 it. Once I cut it, it's gonna fall. And I'll 45 it behind me to that hole that I showed you guys. Way over there. Right there. Sam, you can cut it from your end too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm cutting it so I can 45 it to that hole. Did you guys make a small hole over there? Yeah, yeah, we did. Thank you, sir. Try not to let water get back in here. No, this is definitely spray uh, It's not gonna get very much out this way though because it's going backwards. I know. Yeah. It's fine. That's fine. Okay, I believe you. guys this is pretty intense you know when you come under here you know I recommend probably wearing a face mask and probably a full suit it might be a little bit more sanitary for yourself but under the circumstances I just have to get this job done right now and masks are a little bit on short supply hey. so are you yeah. on this side yes I am oh, here we this go, thing needs to go bigger. just a tad bit my brother one roundabout Hey, we bring another 90? I'm so sorry, thank you. I'm tie into this the coupling. 90 it right there, 90 it up, 90 it out. I could just go in an angle, but I think I'm just gonna go straight 90 and make it look nice. Help me with the pressure. Now, I don't know if you can pass it, because I'm really far back here. Not like super far, but far enough. I don't know if you could see me. Uh, but if you can like kind of toss it back a little bit, let me swing. Uh, oh. <laughs> Coming to save me, bro. Coming to save me, man. <laughs> Start throwing some bread and water in here. Shoot up. Toilet paper. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you saw the homeowner here getting quarantined in there. Dude, straight. Okay, just toss it far back. Kid in. All right, the man is coming out. He made it. 
Irrigation is hooked up under the house. There he is. Look at this MVP right now. Let's take you guys around to the side, show you what Sam got accomplished. So now we don't have this ugly irrigation valve sticking out right there. We are gonna be placing them on the side right here. Beautiful. Okay, so we just installed the shutoff valve for the irrigation on the side yard. Let me show you. There it is. I have the water main on, no leaks. Nice easy PVC shutoff three quarter valve. We're gonna get the irrigation valves all set up. We're gonna be trenching all along this way. There'll be a little pop-up right there for that planter bed. Pop-up for that planter bed. We're gonna do a little pop-up for this back area, for this tree. There'll be more trees back here. We're gonna trench, get a pop-up right there. We'll get a pop-up right here going all the way around. This is gonna be the sod area. Got this whole side, uh, the sod area all marked out with the string lines so you can see exactly where we're gonna be placing the sod so we can uh, get the sprinklers all set up real fast and easy. One pop up back there for our planter bed and then one more down there on that side yard. So we're gonna start trenching, getting all of our PVC laid out. What's nice about having all the string lines already set up, everyone knows exactly what they're doing now. So we can see exactly, we pretty much picture frame the job. So it's easy for anyone to just start going at it and getting this ready. So the main thing we're gonna be doing right now is just grading out for the sod area. And then we are gonna be trenching for our PVC pipes and then also installing the irrigation valves. Okay, so I'm just putting in the irrigation. The valves are going in right now. A little tip and trick I wanted to share with you guys. Is when you are starting to put your valves in, you wanna space them out about three and a half inches apart because that's how wide these are, about three and a half inches. Not this way, this way, three and a half inches this way. And I need them to make sure we can clear each spot when I place them like right here. They're gonna go all along this edge right here. Right now what I'm building is this is kinda kinda how it's gonna look. Right? Just like that. Oh, let me flip it around. This will go in there and just like that. Every three and a half inches apart so that we have enough space for all of them so that's how that works right there so hopefully that was a nice little helpful tip for those of you that don't know that once you start gluing your pipes together with a crispy stop blue glue um, you're not gonna be able to take them off so you have to make sure you do it right the first time all right, so that what I, that's what I was talking about, how everything is, uh, there it is, you see that? That's how it's gonna look, but obviously it's gonna be like up here. 
once these are all glued and in place, that's kind of how it's going to look. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them all right here, like so. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'm going to get another one of these. Oh, we actually ran out of these. So I'm going to get one, three more of these, attach them here. And this is like the little key detail when you are installing valves. When you're installing the valves, you need to, uh, on this side, make it go about an inch shorter for every single one because the pipes are all going to be overlapping one another as they go this way out. So that's just uh, something to kind of keep in uh, mind when you do start to install valves. Okay, so the grate is looking pretty good over here. Grate is pretty much done for the sod right here. Next, what we're working on is the concrete. We're gonna get the concrete all graded out, planter beds graded out, and still work on the irrigation. Clean up this planter box. It's gonna be a planter bed along that area. Except for right there, that will be concrete. We got Moses trenching for some irrigation right now. We're gonna be putting the irrigation in. Hopefully today, get it all in. Okay, so we're just wrapping up all the irrigation, getting all the irrigation in place for the planter beds and for the sod, but that is gonna wrap up part two of this series. So I hope you guys are enjoying everything so far. If so, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, comment any questions you may have. I really appreciate the feedback and um, you guys supporting the channel. So make sure you guys subscribe and like. And stay tuned for the next parts in this series because it's just going to get better and better with uh, the forming and concrete pour coming up. Alright guys, stay tuned.